Okay, today I am going to make my taco rice. And so I'm going to start firing up my pan here. Okay, and I'm going to use some of the last part of the oil that I had for my Navajo fry bread. Okay, try not to get all that sediment in there. Okay, and I'm going to just add to that a little bit of vegetable oil. Okay, now we've got some onion left, so I'm going to cut some of that. Oops, get that in here. You know, there was a time when I would have just thrown this out, but the Lord has taught me, do not waste. Amen. So, let's get this chopped up here and get it frying, frying up. Everybody likes, well, most everybody likes onion in their taco, right? An onion is very good for you. And, uh, you know, one of my grandmothers used to eat sweet onions um, whole, like apples. So, but um, that was always amazing to me as a child. I would just be like, ew, grandma. <laughs> okay, here we go. That in there. And my heat is pretty low right now, which is fine because what I'm going to do is, here, I'm going to add some minced garlic. Probably about... Hmm. Maybe about a teaspoon. Okay. Turn up the heat a tiny bit on that, like medium high. And then spread it around here. Get that onion cooking. Sometimes you see the big onions and you just want to cut them down a bit with your spatula. Okay, and while that's going, I am going to open my, here we go, got another bag, chicken fajitas, family size, um, it's grilled chicken, it's already cooked, and I'm just going to use some of this for my taco rice. I'm cut this open, and this is really a great buy because it's great for cooking fast and um, and guess what this bag wasn't frozen so what do you make of that now look there's still plenty in there for another meal or two see okay so we get this out of the way and in there. okay while this onion's going um I am going to add to that. Hold on, let me do something. I am going to add to that, turn down the heat a little bit. I'm going to add to that my seasonings. Okay, we've got a little bit of the Ortega taco sauce left. Not a lot, but just just enough. I really think that one should um, use. 
keep the seasonings. There's something to it. Okay? Just getting all the seasonings combined together. I'm going to use a little bit, about a tablespoon of this chicken bouillon. Okay? And I also have the tomato chicken bouillon. Hold on. Oh, goodness. Don't you hate that when it gets hard? I don't know if that's like what that is about. I'm going to have to give it a couple bangs. <laughs> okay, a couple bangs. And we've got powder again. So about a tablespoon of that tomato bouillon. Now, if you don't have the bouillon, that's fine. I'm just adding it. You don't need to. Oh, if you could smell this. Okay, now to that, I'm going to add my big mug of rice. And I'm just going to stir it around. Got that wonderful taco seasoning. Okay. With that bouillon. Just let that heat up there while I start chopping this cooked grilled chicken. Here we go. You know, I was thinking about those enchiladas I made, and I showed you my sauce. And there was a time when I used to buy the canned sauce, and um, a tablespoon of it or so fell on the floor once, and I could not wipe it off. I, I tried Ajax, I tried everything. And one of my grandmothers came over and she seen it. <laughs> and she said, what's that on the floor? And I said, Grandma, that is um, enchilada sauce. And she goes, well, why didn't you clean it up? And I said, I tried, it won't come off. And she gets down there and she's trying to scrub with some dish soap and a rag convinced that, you know, I was too lazy to do it. And, uh, she's like, all you have to do is put elbow grease into it. And I'm like, elbow grease? Where do you get that? I don't have any. I'm thinking she's talking about some kind of soap or something, you know? But any matter, she wasn't able to get it off either. And by the way, that was Las Palmas enchilada sauce. So... Um, thank goodness I know how to make my own enchilada sauce, and now so do you. Okay, you can add some pepper. Oh, this smells so good, you guys. Mm -mm -mm. And water. We'll be right back. Going to be about two cups of water to match the rice. And look at that steam. Okay. Thank goodness that chicken's already cooked. I've got um, my seasoned fries in the oven. I'm going to serve this wonderful rice. What's missing? Something green. And you know what I like to do? I like using my spinach. I'm going to turn the heat up to high. Get my spinach in there. See? Oh, doesn't that look so much better? Um, I mean, just think of it. You're adding nutrition. Okay. Let's get those. All those little bits. Just looks wonderful. See? Chopped spinach. 
only a dollar at Walmart. Got my little Yorkie pointing around. He can smell it. He loves. He loves my cooking. <laughs> okay, I'll be back when the rice is done. Um, what I'm gonna do is cover this. And I don't actually lower the heat until it's boiling. So I will leave it like this. When it starts to boil, I'll turn it on low for 20 minutes and okay, simmer it. It's done. <laughs> and what I'm going to do now, mm, look at that, smell that chicken taco rice. I'm going to turn it, give it a flip. Oh, yeah. Trying to get that nice crusty bottom we all love. You know that's the best part. Okay. Flip it around. And now, oh, smells awesome. What I've got here, some, see? Oh gosh, you know this big bag is like $5 at Costco. The corn tortilla chips, five pounds. So what I'm going to do, and you don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you don't have any chips or, or anything, that's fine. Okay, if you have some tortillas and you just want to um, put some tortilla strips in, you can do that. Um, I just like to break them up. So you get that corn chip flavor all throughout this taco, chicken taco rice. Mmm, nice. Okay, I've grated some cheese. This is some cheddar cheese. I'm just going to sprinkle it all around like that on my chicken taco rice. Everybody's going to love this. You're going to love it too if you do this recipe. Okay. And then on top of that, I'm going to just crunch up some more corn tortilla chips. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be awesome. Okay, and I'm going to use the rest of the cheese on top. Can't get enough of that cheese, huh? Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Come on. Get in there. <laughs> oh, okay. And I'm just going to close the lid and let it sit for that cheese to melt. And I'll plate it up and be back in a few minutes. Okay, I just took my seasoned fries out of the oven. <laughs> Going to be serving this taco rice with that. Yeah, look at that. Cheesy. Mm-hmm. Nice. You can smell all those wonderful flavors. Okay. Oh, yes. Look. Cheese is all melted. Tortilla chips, grilled chicken. Mm. <laughs> I am telling you, you are so going to love this recipe. Um, give it a try. Um, if you can, check out my enchilada video so you can know how to make that creamy ranch. I might make a little short just to show everybody again. Um, if you want that. Or just this way. Too. It's wonderful. Your family will love this recipe. And, um, well, <laughs> mm, bless us to our bodies, Lord. It's really hot. Mmm. Mmm. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it is so good. Mmm. Yes. Okay. God bless you. See you in the next video. Mmm.